bring in Republican Congressman and Trump ally Byron Donalds. Congressman, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, why is former President Trump questioning the you. vice president's racial identity? Well, first, George, uh, in Chicago, he was responding to a question from, I believe, Rachel Scott. Like, this is really a phony controversy. I don't really care. Most people don't. But if we're going to be accurate, when Kamala Harris went into the United States Senate, it was AP that said she was the first Indian American United States senator. It was actually played up a lot when she came into the Senate. Now she's running nationally. Obviously, the campaign has shifted. They're talking much more about, about her father's uh, heritage and her black identity. It doesn't really matter. The president mentioned it. What he also talks about far more frequently is the fact that Kamala Harris is the person who created this massive inflation, which is destroying black families, white families, Hispanic families. It's her, her failure as border czar that has left our southern border wide open, more than 10 million illegal immigrants coming into our country, record fentanyl coming into our country, which has killed more Americans than at any other point in the history of our country with respect specifically to fentanyl, and the fact that she and Joe Biden have unleashed one of the worst okay. foreign policies in the history of our country that has us on the verge of World War III. That is Kamala Harris's record. President Trump talks about that frequently, but yes, he did mention it in Chicago in, re in response to a question from Rachel Scott. And, and you just repeated the slur again. If it doesn't matter, why do you all keep questioning her identity? She's always identified as a black woman. She is biracial. She has a Jamaican father and Indian mother. She's always identified as both. Why are you questioning that? Well, George, first of all, this is something that's actually a conversation uh, throughout social media right now. There are a lot of people who are trying to figure this out. But again, that's a side issue, not the main issue. The main issue... Sir, one terrible, second. Terrible you just thought. did it. You Kamala just Harris did it again. Of the United States. Why, why, do, George, you he why do you insist on questioning her racial George, identity? You want, you want me to talk? I, I want okay, you to now, answer now my question. At, George, George, now that you're done yelling at me, let me answer. He talked about it on the stage yesterday in Atlanta for, what, two minutes? He spent more than 35, 40 minutes going after her record, talking about how radical of a senator that she was. She was the most liberal senator in the United States, uh, in the United States Senate. That is a fact. He talked about the job uh, that she did as vice president of the United States, a job, I will add, which has been a failure for the American people. I know you guys like to glom on to this that he talks about in jest or, or in a serious manner for about a minute or so, but what you do not cover is the litany of failures of Kamala Harris. That's what so you're not covering, George. So questioning somebody's racial identity for a couple, for a couple minutes is okay? George, I'm going to tell you again, he brought it up. AP is the one that wrote the headline when she first came in to the United States Senate. Didn't talk about her being black. Talked about her being the first Indian American senator. AP brought that up. I mean, George, we could have this conversation for the entire segment, but none of this matters to the American people. What matters to the American people is are we going to have the same policies of the Biden-Harris administration that has been destructive of the American people, or are we going to have the policies of the Trump administration, which put America first, had low inflation, prosperous Americans, no matter your race, no matter your color, no matter your creed, and a foreign policy that kept America safe? Those are the facts that truly matter, because this issue is going to come and go. The lives of the American people is what's going to remain, and that's what matters more than anything else. If it doesn't matter, I don't understand why you keep on repeating it, why the president keeps on repeating it, why those introducing the president yesterday George, keep actually, on repeating it. George, actually, I'm not it. the one who keeps repeating it. George, you're the one that's bringing it up now. That's you. You've done it. I understand why sir, you you've bring done it, it up. You've done it three George, times. Every single George, answer you gave me. Now let me finish, sir. George, Every single you answer you gave, me, you repeated you the slur. me, George. That's why I'm pushing back on you now. George, you right, asked and, me the question three times. I responded, but I'm And every single time you repeat the slur, that is my, exactly my point. You simply can't say that it's wrong. George, so then what you're saying, so then what you're, and I want to get off this topic because it's not the only thing that's going on. But George, now you're saying that a P is the one that slurred Kamala Harris because those are the facts. You can go to the internet and look at the clips, George, if you want to, or we can talk about this now. I prefer to talk about the future of our country because the American people are struggling. The American people do need serious policy decisions to be made, and they need serious leadership on the world stage. Kamala Harris has not proven that she can do that. Donald J. Trump has proven that he can do that.
AP did not say that Kamala Harris is not black. She is biracial. She is Indian. She is black. You continue to repeat the fact that you continue to repeat the slur. I don't understand why you and the president do it, but it's clear you're not going to say that it's wrong. I and mean, you've now established that for our audience. Uh, Trump also said at the convention that he would George, pardon January 6th rioters. Everybody look for themselves. Let's move on. I've already said that. Go ahead. Get in it, everybody. Let's move on. There we go. So, <laughs> go, go on and repeat the slurs again. Trump also said at the convention that he would pardon January 6th rioters who assaulted police officers. Do you support that? Uh, actually, what he said is that he was going to review every single case. He even repeated that again in Chicago at the NABJ. Listen, what we do understand is that the Department of Justice under Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, they did massively uh, push up charges on people who protested at the Capitol and some who rioted at the Capitol on January 6th. So what he's talking about is doing a case-by-case -case review. You can lump it all together all you want, but those are the words of Donald J. Trump. I'm quite sure on the internet people can pull up that clips. They can watch it at their own leisure. I'll, I'll read it to you right now. This was Rachel Scott's question. My question is on those rioters who assaulted officers. Would you pardon those people? Oh, absolutely, I would. That's his words. Yes, and but you did. You but you did not leave in was the rest of his comments where he said, "Yeah, I would," but we want to look at everything on a case by case basis. That's what will happen, George. No, but, that's but, actually that's not what he said. He said if they were innocent, I would pardon them. Okay. They've all been convicted. He said he would pardon those who assaulted police officers. Case basis. That's what will happen, George. No, but, that's but, actually that's not what he said. He said if they were innocent, I would pardon them. Okay. They've all been convicted. He said he would pardon those who assaulted police officers. Do you it, support but, that or not, well, George? You just George. George, you just, George, you just changed the soundbite. You just changed it. You, now you added, if they're innocent, then I will pardon them. Let's go back to the record of January 6th. Uh, again, not something that matters. I didn't change the soundbite. That's exactly what he said. They've been convicted. George, the first thing you said, the first thing you said was, yes, I'll pardon them. Then you expanded. And, the, and he said that. Say, if they are innocent, then yes, I will. That's what you said, George. Now I'm responding. Okay. So what he's saying is, is that, yeah, I will go and look at these at these cases. If they're innocent, yes, I will. Of course, if somebody was beating up a police officer um, at January 6th, he's not going to do that. But if you had people who were just walking through the Capitol, which did occur on January 6th, because the security protocols had changed because of that riot at the Capitol, then what he would do is not l allow them to be held in jail with these massively increased charges by the current um, U.S. attorney in D.C. under the Biden-Harris administration. Compare that to the fact that at the rally that the, 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 the riots that just occurred at Union Station when B.B. Netanyahu was speaking to Congress, you had the same U.S. attorney for the District of Columbia who decided to just let people go and not file any charges, even though they were defacing monuments um, at, unions, at Union Square. So we want to be fair with the justice system. We don't want to be political with the justice system. My question is on those riders who assaulted officers. Would you pardon those people? Donald Trump. Oh, absolutely, I would. You wouldn't pardon those? If they were innocent, I would pardon them. That is the entire quote. They are not innocent. They are convicted. He said he would pardon them. And, George, what, we, what I'm telling you is he's going to go back and look at these cases because it is without a doubt... And look, January 6th is a very painful memory in our country, but it is without a doubt that the U.S. attorney for the District of Columbia was supercharging uh, these people because of political viewpoints. Because you had other riots that have occurred in Washington, D.C., where the charges were minimized or dismissed altogether. That is not an even-handed system of justice. That is a politically motivated system of justice. And you don't have to look any further than the difference between how the Department of Justice has treated Donald Trump versus how the Department of Justice has treated Joe Biden or Hillary Clinton. What he is talking about is equal, is equal enforcement of the law, not picking and choosing because of your politics. I would remind you that this Department of Justice actually indicted Hunter Biden, the president's son. And of course, we were talking about assaults Only on police officers, people who were convicted for assaults on police officers, which the guys, I'm not really a big fan of ABC News, but this guy, George, is he, he's just a horrible person. He always just goes for gotcha questions. He never wants to do digging and try to understand. So whenever he has someone on there, they'll never get to a point and have to just move on because he, he just doesn't want to hear anything but what he's saying. And the slur that he was talking about is being an Indian American. 
I don't know how that's racist. I don't know how that's a slur or what that is, but she's she's like a chameleon. She switches every week. She switches every week on what she wants to be. And right now, she's just playing on black people. So this week, she's black just because she's trying to get the black vote. And you see how low she thinks of us because she has Megan Thee Stallion and other rappers coming up to talk. I think one thing that could put a huge stop to all of this is just have her father come on there and talk. Have ha have him come on there and say what she is or what he is or what the, her mother is. And I think we'll get somewhere. Let me know what you guys think about this quick video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. We're out.